The binomial distribution is a very distinct formula that we can use to calculate the probabilities. However, in practice, most of the time we will use technology rather than the formula. So let's do that in this class as well. The Excel command for calculating probabilities on the binomial distribution is equals binom.dist for distribution, open a parenthesis, x, n, p, and then either true or false. Now let's break those pieces down a little bit. x is the number of successes that we want. n we've already seen as a variable. That's the number of trials in the study. And p we've already seen as well, is the probability of success. Now, this true-false is a little bit weird. We'll talk about it. It's whether or not we want the probability to be cumulative or not. And what cumulative means if we mark it true, that means we want to add the probability of that value and everything else below it. In other words, we want the probability of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0 successes. Because a lot of times we need that cumulative probability in order to answer the question that we're interested in. Let's swap over to Excel and start calculating some probabilities. In our previous video, we took a look at our student who did not study for their 20 question multiple choice test. Each question had four options, A through D. So just as a review, we remember the sample size then, or the number of trials is 20. And P, the probability of success was 1 4, which was 0 0.25. I'm going to go ahead and use the fraction 1 4 in my Excel commands, because while this time it's a nice decimal of 0.25, sometimes in practice it's not a nice decimal, and it's better to use the fraction to ensure an accurate solution. So if we wanted the probability that the student takes the test and gets exactly 4 correct, we can type in equals binom dot dist for binomial distributions. First number is the number of success we want. We want exactly four successes, comma. The second number is the number of trials. There are 20 questions on the test, comma. The third argument is the probability of success. We said the probability of success is 1 out of 4, because there were four options. Only one was correct. Now in this case, we want exactly 4 correct. We don't want to add up a bunch of probabilities. We want to get exactly 4 correct. So we'll type in false to just get that exact value. We don't want it to be a cumulative value. And when I hit Enter, we find there's a 0.1897 probability that we'll get exactly 4 correct. Now, what if I wanted to know the probability of getting less than 4 correct? Notice less than 4 means the numbers 3, 2, 1, 0, all the way down. So the first number that we're actually interested in finding for this probability is the number 3. We need to be careful because 4 is in the problem, but we don't want the probability of 4. We want less than 4. So the first number we care about is 3. So we'll say equals binomial.distribution, binom.dist. The number of success we're interested in is 3. There are 20 trials because there's 20 questions. The probability of any one success is 1 fourth. And this time, because we want to add 3, 2, 1, 0, everything below it, this time we'll use true for the last argument. And that'll give me the probability of less than 4 correct being 0 0.2252. What if we wanted at most 4 correct? 
at most 4 means we can include 4, and also 3, and 2, and everything below it. So when we say at most 4, we actually want to include the number 4. So to find the probability this student gets at most 4 correct, we'll say equals binome.dist. Now the starting number is 4, comma. We have 20 trials. The probability of success is 1 out of 4. And yes, we want to add all those probabilities together, 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So we'll say true. Yes, we want to add them all together to get the probability that we get at most 4 correct on this 20 question multiple choice test is 0.4148. Now the Excel command for the binomial distribution is set up for decreasing values, counting down. If I want a probability that's increasing, I want more than 4 correct. I want 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 20. I want more than 4 correct. We have to be a little bit clever. We know with a probability distribution that all the probabilities add up to 1. So if there's a probability counting up with the binomial, what we can do is find the group that we don't want and subtract those off from 1. So if I want 5, 6, 7 all the way up, the first number that gets excluded, the first number that gets cut off from the bottom is the number 4 and everything below it. So we're doing not 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 because we're cutting off those numbers below 5. So we'll do equals. And the way we cut them off is we start with 100%, the 1, the all the probability, and subtract off the binome.dist, where we start at the number 4, because 4 is the first one cut off. The number of trials is 20. The probability of success is 1 fourth. And yes, we want to count all of them. So this will take that 1 total probability, subtract off the ones we don't want, because the binomial always counts down, never up. And that tells me the probability we get more than 4 correct is 0.5852. At least 4 is really similar. At least 4 actually includes the number 4 and counts up 5, 6, 7, 8. But the binomial distribution command cannot count up. It only counts down. So since we're going to count down, we're going to say, what's the first value we don't want? Well, if we want 4, 5, 6, we don't want 3, 2, 1, 0. So the ones that I'm going to cut off, the ones that I'm not going to count, I'll start with 1, and I'll subtract the binome.distributions that we don't want, starting with 3 out of 20 trials with a 1 in 4 success, true, I want to add them all up. Cutting those off leaves behind a probability of 0.7748 is the probability that the student gets at least 4 correct. Excel is really nice because it can quickly calculate the probabilities of these binomials. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to knowing what numbers to put where, but if you're careful as you attack the problems, you can get to the probabilities on Excel quite quickly.